Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a simple grain effect to your image in Illustrator CC. Start with your image and press M to create a rectangle over top of your entire image or whatever region that you want to have your grain effect. Once you've done that, I want you to press G, which is your gradient key, and click once on your shape. It's going to create a gradient that kind of looks like this. Now we want it to be from black to white and middle point mm, roughly right here, but don't worry, we're going to be able to change all these settings a bit later. So we'll be happy with that. Then with that shape selected, go to effect and go down here to texture and click on grain. This screen will pop up, it might take a moment for you. And you'll see right here, these are all the different types of effects that we can apply to this layer. So for instance, there's stained glass and calculated patchwork. We're going to stick with grain. Now, yours might be regular right here. So I want you to switch the grain type from regular to stippled. This kind of gives the best noise effect. And you have two options. You can change the intensity, moving that around, it kind of looks like that. And you can also change the contrast like that. So in which our case, we want a decent amount of contrast from left to right like that and the intensity to go the whole way, kind of like that. So we have a bit of noise. And then we can press OK. Now we have our grain effect, but we can't see our image. Well, all we have to do is we go to the transparency panel right here, click on that and switch this from normal to multiply. Now we can see our image, but the image is too dark. So one final thing, we have to change the opacity. Select your opacity, you can get your little slider right here, and move it down. What I find to around between 20 and 30 is usually pretty darn good. It's a good effect. And now we have our little grain effect. Now, if we want to change this effect to say we don't like that, uh, there's not a lot of grain there, it's really simple. All we have to do is select that layer, press G, which is our gradient key, and now we can actually move this. We can move it down a bit more and we see a bit more noise right here and a bit more solid over here. Quite simple. Another cool thing is that we can change the type of gradient by going to our gradient panel right here and switching to this, a radial gradient. And now we have a radial gradient and if I want to focus around our shape right here, I can just click this little black line and bring it into here. So now we have a region where we have not a lot of noise and it expands outwards around from our shape. I can move that out there like that a bit and move the center of this. Oh. So that's a pretty easy effect. One final thing to do is if you select your effect, you can always change the grain and the effect afterwards by clicking on it and going to the appearances tab right here. And if you scroll down right here, you'll see this grain applied. If you click on that, you'll have your effect right here and you can play with it as much as you like. So I'm going to adjust that and make that a bit more and press OK and it applies your effect instead like that. So you can always change your effect as you wish. I'm gonna drop the opacity a tiny bit. So, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you learned something new. It's really easy to add these effects. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, check out our other videos, and of course, as always, have a great day.